جاهزين جدا جدا وهو المستر لورنزو اللي هيكون موجود معانا عشان نتكلم معاه على اخر الاخبار الخاصه بمحمد صلاح وهل الانتقال هل عقوبه تشيلسي ممكن تحرم زيدان من التعاقد مع تشيلسي ويروح هو لليفانتس الموسم القادم ولا لا ده اللي احنا هنعرفه من خلال وجوده معانا مستر لورنزو ويلكم اون الاهلي تشانل هلو هاو ار يو ام فاين هاو ار يو ايفريثينج جود ثانك يو Uh, of course, I will begin with you uh, about Mo Salah. And uh, the rumors that said uh, that Mo Salah will be transferred from Liverpool to Juventus. Is it true or is it just rumors? Um, it's just rumors now. Because yes. uh, uh, it's hard right now to think that Salah will leave Liverpool and that uh, they will agree to... Uh, swapping with Dybala, not because of Dybala not being good, but because uh, Salah is doing great at Liverpool. I spoke, I had an interview with uh, uh, Ian Rush a few weeks ago, um, and he told me that uh, he also sees very difficult for um, Liverpool to sell Salah or for Salah to go because uh, he's a very strong player of Liverpool. He loves Liverpool, he loves the fans and the feeling. He's the same for fans who love him, so uh, it's hard to see him uh, leave Liverpool in the future and not forget that uh, players, uh, either big or small players, they don't like to be involved in swap deals. And I, I don't see, honestly, Ibala accepting to be swapped uh, in a swap deal uh, for any big player, even if he's uh, as big as Salah. Okay, I will translate to the audience and I'll be back you, to you with a second question. Yeah, no problem. في البدايه سالته على اخبار محمد صلاح واخبار انتقال محمد صلاح لليوفنتوس هل هي مجرد شائعات ولا فعلا في كلام عن انتقال صلاح لليوفنتوس زي ما تابعنا كلنا في الصحف الاعلاميه الموسم الماضي قال لي لا هي شائعات كان في يعني شائعات بالنسبه لانتقال صلاح الى اليوفنتوس بسبب ان محمد صلاح مبسوط جدا في فريق ليفربول وهو لسه مجدد عقده وهو الاعلى في الفئة المالية ما بين كل اللاعبين وكمان صلاح تربطه علاقة جيدة جدا مع فريق ليفربول ومع جمهور فريق فريق ليفربول وهو مبسوط جدا جدا حاليا مع فريق الريدز. مستر لورنزو اي وونت تو اس يو اولسو اباوت زيدان اند ذا كارنت سيتويشن اوف اليجري افتر ذا باد ريزلت فروم اتلتيكو مدريد اجينست يوفنتوس ات واز 2-0 اند ناو وي اول هيرد ذات اف Allegri disqualified from uh, the Champions League and he lost the second game against Atletico Madrid that he uh, will be the last season with Juventus and Zinedine Zidane is now the first choice for Juventus management. Um, this is something, in my opinion, at least uh, more concrete than Salah because uh, Juventus' mm. big target is the Champions League mm. and um, Andrea Agnelli, the president of Juventus, was yes. already very upset with the elimination from the Coppa Italia the day after the defeat against Atalanta. He went uh, to speak with the players. Of yes. course, we don't know the exact words that he spoke, that he spoke inside the dressing room, but we know that, of course, he's a very, very confessive president and he was very upset for the result in Coppa Italia. So, um, I see it happening, actually, because, um, you know... Um, If you reach the final, if you reach the semi-final, if you go out uh, uh, in the quarter-final, as he did last year against Real Madrid in a very um, difficult situation, at least mm. he proved uh, to be as good as Real Madrid. Uh, mm. um, on Wednesday night, this didn't happen. I mean, uh, Juventus did a show to be as uh, starving for win uh, as Atletico Madrid were. And um, they didn't show, they show lack of character. They, mm. they are technical, technically better than Atletico Madrid, but they didn't even look better than Atletico Madrid on a technical point of view because uh, they were just arriving uh, for second on every ball. Uh, they, were unable to, they were unable to win uh, physical challenges uh, one by one, uh, no dribblings. Uh, mm. Uh, so they didn't show to be on the same level mentally as Atletico Madrid were. So... Uh, if they go out so early in the Champions League at such an early stage, then uh, uh, I don't see Allegri staying. Uh, even if um, Paratici has been insisting that he's the right manager uh, for Juventus, the right manager for the project, but uh, he said that before the Atletico Madrid game, and the Atletico Madrid game was a huge disappointment for every 
um, from from every for every Juventus fan and for every Juventus director as well. So maybe we can see Zidane, uh, the head coach of Juventus, the next season if Allegri didn't win the Champions League, right? Not, not if I mean if he if he goes out in the last six stage, if he goes out against Atletico Madrid, that can happen. Yes. But uh, Allegri has proved that uh, really anything can happen. In yes, that, true, uh, true, true. So it, it really depends on how it goes, how it gets, if it gets eliminated, and how it happens. So it, it's it's really early at the moment. Yes. I don't think the I, I don't think the talks uh, between Juventus and Zidane has started yet. Uh, mm. I just think Juventus are thinking, mm. and uh, in case. Uh, they won't show to be any better than Real Madrid, than Atletico Madrid when they actually are. Um, it could be the last season for Allegri as well, and I see no better manager than Zidane to come in and replace him. Yes. يعني معلش السؤال كان طويل شويه لكن كان مهم وبتكلم على علاقة Allegri مدير الفني لليفانتس الموسم الحالي. وهل خروجه من كوبا ايطاليا من كاس ايطاليا وايضا النتيجه السلبيه الاخيره امام فريق اتلتيكو مدريد بخساره 2-0 وهل لو خرج من دوري الابطال ده يكون اخر موسم بالنسبه لالاجري وهل زيدان ممكن يكون المدير الفني القادم لفريق يوفنتوس قال لي ده كان كلام عنيالي بعد الخروج من كاس ايطاليا ان عنيالي رئيس نادي يوفنتوس اتكلم وقال ان هو بيطلب من اليجري ان هو يكون موجود في ابعد مدى ممكن في دوري الابطال لكن لو خرج اليجري من دور ال16 امام فريق اتلتيكو مدريد ممكن يكون هو قال ممكن يكون لكن ما اكدش على زيدان لكن قال ان اليجري ممكن يكون اخر موسم ليه مع اليوفنتوس لكن ممكن يكون مدير فني تاني غير زيدان اللي انه يكون موجود في القياده الفنيه لاليفنتس الموسم القادم واليجري اعتقد ان عنده مهمه صعبه جدا وقال كمان ان اليجري هو رجل يعني دايما رجل المستحيل بيعرف يحقق نتائج ايجابيه بعد ما يكون خسران بفرق كبير زي 2-0 وزي ريال مدريد 3-0 لما شفنا اللقاء طبعا الشهير في دوري ابطال اوروبا Uh, Mr. Lorenzo, I want to ask you about uh, Rakitic, and we heard that uh, Inter uh, decided to sign with Rakitic in the coming next season with 40 million euros. Yeah, that's uh, that's a rumor. There is there is in Italy a pretty consistent rumor. Um, apparently, uh, for Gazzetta, um, they Inter offered. Um, uh, 35 million. The first offer was rejected, but uh, uh, Rakitic is not going to stay at um, Barcelona beyond the, beyond this season because uh, uh, Frankie De Jong, they are from Ajax, is coming in. Rakitic would like to extend his contract with Barcelona, but Barcelona are actually not interested in extending his contract because he's mm. turning 31 or 32. He's actually over 30, and um, um, so yeah. Uh, Rakitic was a huge target of Marotta at Juventus as well, mm. and uh, he is interested. They are in talks, uh, mm. um, but they still need to figure out the whole deal. Their mm. interest seems to be really, really close because they're interested, because Barcelona are willing to sell, mm. and because uh, Inter can spend from this season because uh, there are no more issues with the financial fair play. They will mm. sign big players in midfield, probably. Uh, Nicola Barella as well from mm. Cagliari. Uh, but yeah, Rakitic is the big name uh, for uh, Inter's midfield because they wanted to sign Rakitic last year, but uh, mm. uh, it didn't happen because uh, Real Madrid didn't want to sell. And now Rakitic is a bit younger than Modric as well. And uh, they can sign for a similar fee. So I think that the deal is going to happen. They are in talks right now. And uh, it's something that can really, really happen. سألته على راكيتيتش وسمعنا عن تعاقد أو إنتر بيفكر أنه يتعاقد مع راكيتيتش مقابل 40 مليون يورو لكن قال في الفترة الحالية شائعات لكن إنتر فعلا بيحاول من الموسم الماضي أنه يتعاقد مع راكيتيتش اسم كبير جدا يكون موجود في نص ملعب فريق إنتر لكن مش إنتر لوحده أنه اللي بيحاول التعاقد مع راكيتيتش كمان يوفنتوس من الأسامي اللي موجودة في إيطاليا اللي بتسعى أنها تتعاقد مع راكيتيتش خصوصا أن نادي برشلونة مش مش يعني ما تكلمش في تجديد أو مش عايز يجدد ليه راكيتيتش في الفترة الحالية تعاقد مع ديونج زي ما احنا شفنا وكمان بيسعى ان هو يتعاقد مع رابيو من نادي باريس سان جيرمان
Uh, Mr. Lorenzo, the last question about our Egyptian player, Mahmoud Hassan Trezeguet, the player who is playing now for uh, Qasem Pasa, uh, the Turkish uh, team in uh, the Turkish league. And we heard in the last season that two big clubs in Italy, Lazio and Napoli, they want to, uh, uh, to sign him. And I want to know, and all the people want to know, the true facts of this news. Is it still... Uh, they they still interested to sign the players or also rumors? Uh, you know, it's um, it, it's a difficult part of the season now because yeah. uh, um, what what do clubs usually do in Italy and Europe? They mm. uh, take the two third, the first two parts of the season to mm. watch the players, to see them, to know if they are available. They, there are many intermediaries around uh, mm. um, every player and every club, uh, so there are many contacts that goes on. Uh, mm. the, the first step is always watching the player, and then uh, if the player is interesting, they uh, they ask for information. Um, Italy and Syria could be a um, a destination yes. for the player, uh, but uh, as I said, at the moment uh, there are. As soon as I know, there are no uh, official talks. Mm. He is a name that uh, has been linked with both clubs and uh, is actually a kind of player that both clubs would need. Yes. Uh, but uh, talks, uh, will, uh, talks will probably begin very, very soon. And, uh, um, and as I said, there could be a chance to see him uh, uh, here in Italy, but... Uh, um, mm. We still have to see because the yes. clubs are still are still monitoring very very uh, many profiles, and so uh, we still need to wait uh, a few months, and then we'll see how that can develop. Mr. Lorenzo, thank you so much for being with us on the Ahli Channel. آخر سؤال سألته على لاعبنا المصري محمود حسن تريزيجيل. تلو لاتسيو نابولي كان بيسعى إنهم يتعاقدوا مع اللاعب في بداية الموسم. عايزين نعرف حقيقة المفاوضات بين الناديين وبين محمود حسن تريزيجيه لاعب بفريق قاسم باشا بالمناسبه هو بالانجلش اسمه قاسم باشا عشان بس ايه اكون وضحت لحضراتكم الرؤيه وقال لي ان في الفتره الحاليه ما فيش اي مفاوضات رسميه بين الناديين وبين اللاعب المصري لكن اللاعب المصري هو من ضمن الاسماء المطروحه في الناديين علشان يكون موجود معاهم لكن هو بيعتقد ان في نهايه الموسم الحالي هيحاول ان او او هم هيحاولوا ان هم يكون في مفاوضات او كلام رسمي ما بين نابولي ولاتسيو ولاعبنا المصري. ده بالنسبه لمداخله لورينزو او مستر لورينزو الصحفي في كالشيو ماركاتو الايطالي نكمل مع حضراتكم باقي الاخبار سريعا. حرمان ايك اثينا من المشاركه الاوروبيه 